Hello and welcome to Michelle's Life on Repeat. I am in my bed again because I have not broken that migraine that started five days ago with that video I made um, with my husband splitting wood and he asked me today, did I cause your migraine? No, sweet dear, you did not cause my migraine. Life life in general things out of my control I have no idea what triggered this migraine but it is here and it's a lot worse today and if everything looks lopsided I apologize I am laying sideways so my lamp looks sideways yeah I'll try to straighten it up what the other side of migraine world looks like and uh I am, can't get warm enough today, so I've had my sweatshirts on. Now I'm under my comforter, and I've turned off all my fans that are blowing in the room and the air conditioner in the hallway and all that. Those are some things that go with migraines. You can't regulate your temperature very well, and you can't um, just make the nausea go away without usually having to take something that is a pill form to fix it which of course always causes other problems you know it's a give and take someone asked me if I could do more migraine vlog content I'm sure this isn't what he meant when he said migraine but I'm sure he wanted to know factual things things like triggers and how to avoid them and maybe medicines or what it feels like or what do you experience and all that not necessarily me in a bed in a migraine but this is what you get because this is what I'm in <laughs> um, like I said I was gonna show you you know maybe something from the orchid room but I went in there and I'm just too nauseous to stand up my orchids aren't getting water today and unless I feel better later today I can't do the bending uh, I have a bucket for the Vandas that I just drop it in and then, you know, maybe five, six hours later I go and I pull it out. And they're growing roots, but nothing else really is, uh, is showing, obviously, new growth, new roots. They, they happen sporadically at night. They seem to pop a little bit bigger, grow a little bit taller, and I guess that's kind of like us. We go to sleep at night and our bodies just grow. It's like those babies when you had them. It's like, how did you fit in this onesie last night, but tonight you don't fit in it, you know? It just happens. Things happen. I am hanging low, going to watch my videos. Just watched Michelle May with the Zesty Girl, keeping it real. And she had mentioned how being in lockdown in Australia right now is just really hard. And um, I recall, I recall lockdowns being very hard, but also l having lived with migraines for six, seven, nine, ten. I lost track of time years I've been on my own form of self lockdown for a long time so I'm used to being indoors or being in my own personal space between the front yard backyard and house but you know the struggle is real for those of you that aren't used to being slow and indoors and not doing the outdoor public things that really make you thrive and really give you energy it is a hard thing and I I, I think of you and I think it, it is hard always acknowledge the heart because if you ignore it and pretend it's not there it will just keep bothering you and festering you always I think it's best to always acknowledge the feeling that you have. You feeling joyful, girl, you just you just shout it to the world. Let the world know you're feeling joyful. But if you're hurting, don't hide it. Let people know you're hurting. And I'm letting you know, I am hurting. This side of my brain is still hurting. It's vibrated down into the teeth and the eardrum and these nerves um, you know I've treated it with multiple different things that help temporarily but not uh, it's not gone away yet 
but embrace your feelings, embrace the emotions, embrace every part of what you are experiencing because it really does make for a richer, fuller uh, life, I think. Because I can experience the deep, deep pains and the deep, deep sorrows, it makes the deep joys all the more beautiful. I am going to keep this video short, but I just wanted to let you know that uh, I'm not, I don't feel sorry for myself. I know that these times are needed for me to get better, I guess. It could be worse. I could be in the ER room uh, waiting and waiting and waiting for my name to be called. But I'm in my own bed. I'm in my own space. I can go make toast if I need to. And I have you guys. And I have the YouTube world where I can scroll away and watch and escape and learn. Um, escape is a good one. Uh, I like, like to do that too. But I can learn. And I have now officially 15 books. <clears throat> on a list that I need to work my way through only because I want to, not because I have to, but I did ask my Facebook friends the other day, I need a good book. I need one that's not scary. I need one that's not sci-fi. I need one that's not uh, murder and, and gory. I need one that's not full of witchcraft and spooky and suspenseful. That's not me. I don't need creepy. So I have uh, a list of 15 books that my friends recommended that I want to work my way through. So I, they're on audio because uh, I can't really read. Migraines make my eye vision go wonky or double visioned or the lines keep moving. So it's easier for me just to start it in audio. I wish you well and I wish you peace and I hope that tomorrow this migraine will be gone by the time you see this video. We can always hope. Fingers crossed. And until we talk again, bye-bye. <laughs>